welcome to our Region 2 Awards presentation. I miss doing this in person and seeing all of you. We would have been together this year in Atlanta, Georgia. So let's go to Atlanta, Georgia. This year, just as we do every year, Anvil received numerous outstanding submissions in every award category. So many of you have done tremendous work. We are so pleased to recognize your efforts. So let's start with our Region 2 awards. We're going to start with our PACE award winners. Anvil's PACE awards are separated into seven divisions and two overall campaign awards. Within each division are categories that further recognize specific accomplishments. All PACE awards, whether division or category, are international awards. Up first, Division 2 Visual Arts, Category 2D Digital Graphics. Our winner is the Virginia Department of Motor Vehicles for their Real ID Airport Graphics. Designed by the DMV Communications Office with a clean, clear, and compelling look and text, these ads have greeted millions of travelers at Virginia airports since 2018. The graphics are an integral part of a highly successful overall campaign to promote Real ID in Virginia. Next, Division 3, Advertising, Category 3A, TV Commercial or PSA, Externally Produced. Our winner is the Tennessee Department of Safety and Homeland Security. They've actually tied for this award for their Real ID Media Campaign. Tennessee Titans legendary running back and Heisman Trophy winner Eddie George and his wife, the singer Taj, known best for her role in the R&B singing group Sisters with Voices, agreed to record a commercial for the Tennessee Department of Safety and Homeland Security to advertise the rollout of Real ID in Tennessee. Also in Division 3 Advertising, Category 3B, Tennessee Department of Safety and Homeland Security has tied to win for the Tennessee Highway Patrol 90th Anniversary video. To mark the 90th anniversary of the Tennessee Highway Patrol, this video honors the troopers that laid the foundation of the Tennessee Highway Patrol, those currently working for the patrol, and at the same time reaches out to those who are not yet part of the Highway Patrol. Moving on to Division 4, Special Events. In Category 4A, a media event or press day, the Florida Department of Highway Safety and Motor Vehicles has won for Florida Highway Patrol Trooper Rosario's return to duty ceremony. Trooper Carlos Rosario was conducting a speed enforcement detail when he was struck and nearly killed by a motorist who was texting while driving. Almost two years later, after making a full recovery, he joined the Florida Highway Patrol, his family, members of the South Florida Law Enforcement and Fire Rescue Community, and all those that supported his healing journey in celebrating his return to duty and miraculous recovery. This event has also won the PACE Overall Division Award in Division 4 Special Events. The Florida Department of Highway Safety and Motor Vehicles has also won Category 4B, a non-media event for Behind the Drive, Florida's 50th Anniversary and Florida Highway Patrol's 80th Anniversary Exhibit. The department presented a public exhibition showcasing the rich history of the agency and their proud effect on the lives of Floridians at the Florida Capitol. To convey the department's story, the exhibit blended historical images and artifacts with an educational value. The Florida Department of Highway Safety and Motor Vehicles has also won Division 6 Writing, Category 60, Story Placement and Publication, for their Trooper Barbara Earhart Longest Serving Female Trooper article. Trooper Barbara Earhart retired on July 30, 2019 to honor her 36 years of outstanding service. Lieutenant Greg Bueno, the public affairs officer for Troop F in Fort Myers, compiled a career highlight biography of Earhart, directly contacted several local reporters to promote her story, and video recorded her final radio call log. The team worked with national news organizations to push the story to the public and attain a larger reach. Congratulations to all our Region 2 PACE Award winners. Now we'll move on to our Service and Security Awards. ANVA Service and Security Awards recognizes jurisdiction agencies in a diverse field of excellence. 
We have both international winners and regional winners. Now, our Region 2 winners. First, the Customer Convenience Award. The Customer Convenience Award recognizes jurisdictions for making life easier for customers. Our Region 2 recipient is the Virginia Department of Motor Vehicles for their mobile operations optimization strategy for superior real ID service. Virginia DMV strategically optimized its successful mobile operations program and leveraged community partnerships to provide even more convenient service options to Virginians without acquiring real estate. The Excellence in Government Partnership Award recognizes a successful project or program developed and implemented in cooperation with another public agency or the private sector. Our Region 2 winner is the Georgia Department of Revenue for their Drives Project Partnership with FAST. The Georgia Driver Record and Integrated Vehicle Enterprise System, or DRIVES, is a multi-year technology upgrade effort between the Department of Revenue and the Department of Driver Services to modernize and to combine into one application two of Georgia's largest and most complex legacy software systems. Next, we have the Improvement Through Efficiencies Award, which recognizes jurisdictions for going green, reducing costs, streamlining processes, or doing more with less. The Texas Department of Public Safety is the Region 2 recipient for their recruiting open houses. The Texas Department of Public Safety received funding during the legislative session for an additional 713 employees to work in driver license offices. Texas DPS created the concept of the open house to speed up the hiring process and make an impact to customer service. Our next award is the Innovative Use of Technology Award. This award recognizes jurisdictions that have implemented technology tools that directly enhance access to services or the service experience. Our Region 2 winner is the Virginia Department of Motor Vehicles for their Start Anywhere Real ID. Virginia DMV's Real ID Driver's License Renewal Service allows customers to start the Real ID transaction online, anywhere, at any time and then receive expedited service to complete the in-person transaction at one of the agency's customer service centers or a mobile office, saving the customer and the Commonwealth time and money. Our next award is the Fraud Prevention and Detection Award for a law enforcement individual. This award recognizes an individual who's made a specific contribution to thwart motor vehicle agency related crime. Our Region 2 winner is Desiree Tanguma, Driver License Office Supervisor with the Texas Department of Public Safety. Ms. Tanguma discovered that one of her employees was committing fraud by selling commercial driver's license. Because of her extensive knowledge of CDL requirements, she was able to identify the loophole in the process and gather the documentation that was needed to file charges against the employee. The investigation uncovered that over 200 CDMs had been fraudulently issued, which put the public at risk by allowing unsafe drivers on the roads. Next, fraud prevention and detection for a motor vehicle individual recognizes an individual who's made a contribution to thwart motor vehicle crime. Our Region 2 winners are Edward Moore, John Odom, and Erin Bowling, agents with the South Carolina Department of Motor Vehicles. In the spring of 2019, Lead Agent Moore and Agent Odom were contacted by one of South Carolina's branch managers to investigate a dealership following verbal complaints and inconsistent paperwork presented to her over the counter. During the inspection, the agents told the dealer they found fraudulent records pertaining to vehicle sales and infrastructure maintenance fee payments. While the dealer said he was unaware, the agents were able to confirm the dealer owed more than $35,000 to the state of South Carolina and did not properly title or register 78 vehicles within the 45-day time that's required by them. Our final presentation are the Community Service Recognitions. AMBA's Community Service Award recognizes Give Back programs. The agency can submit one program each year and receive recognition. One agency is then chosen for the International Award for Outstanding Program. We have five jurisdictions to recognize in Region 2. First Community Service Certificate goes to the Virginia Department of Motor Vehicles 
for their military and veteran support. In a multifaceted year-long program, Virginia DMV employees participate in fundraising activities, volunteer opportunities, and strategic customer service initiatives directly benefiting Virginia's active duty military and veterans. Our second community service recognition is the Georgia Department of Revenue for Hurricane Dorian Emergency Relief Donation Campaign. The Georgia Department of Revenue responded to the call for donations of emergency supplies for the people of the Bahamas. The department coordinated with the authorities in the Bahamas to collect and deliver the relief supplies donated at the agency's Atlanta offices. The Georgia Department of Driver Services is also being recognized for community service related to their Bahama relief effort. The DDS also partnered with the authorities in the Bahamas to aid the relief effort as a result of the hurricane devastation. They collected 11 large packed boxes plus two boxes of diapers for relief. Our next community service recognition goes to the South Carolina Department of Motor Vehicles for the Monks Corner staff response to destroyed office. On July 4th, 2019, the South Carolina Monks Corner branch was severely damaged by a microburst from a thunderstorm. While offices across South Carolina were closed due to the July 4th holiday, when the branch office staff learned of the event, employees and even their family members immediately went to the office even on their day off in hopes of securing any needed information and trying to save anything they could find. Our final community service recognition goes to the Tennessee Department of Safety and Homeland Security for connecting with the community. The Tennessee Department of Safety and Homeland Security has two mobile units that are used throughout the state to assist citizens. By taking the units on the road, they are able to keep individuals from having to visit a driver services center and reach people who may not have the ability to get to a center. Congratulations to all our Region 2 award winners. You've done extraordinary work. You make drivers and vehicles safe, keep our identities secure, and save lives. You make the entire AMBA community proud. I want to encourage all of you to apply for next year's awards program. I know that especially now, you are working hard to find new and creative ways to serve and communicate in your communities. And we can't wait to hear all about it. Be safe, be well, and know you can always count on AMBA to be here for you, even from Atlanta, Georgia.